now we will come to various annotations of test engine. We will be going to talk about test engine now today. What is test engine? Let's talk about that. Testing next generation. This is the full form of test engine. What is test engine? So first of all, test engine is a unit testing framework, or I would say Java unit testing framework. This specific to Java. There are two most popular unit testing framework. One is JUnit and one is TestNG. These are the two unit testing framework for Java. And uh, if I talk about JUnit, JUnit, it's used a lot by developers. So developers use this particular framework a lot for the unit testing purpose. And when I talk about TestNG, TestNG, it is used a lot by testers. Why there is a discrimination between these two frameworks then? Okay, what happens is, uh, you know, developers are keep on using JUnit from quite a long time and they don't want to switch to the new one. That's only the thing which I feel is they are using JUnit. However, if I talk about TestNG, TestNG is having more annotations compared to JUnit. It's having more annotations means more functionalities. Let's, let me write it here. More functionalities. The latest version of JUnit is JUnit 4. For test in G, it is actually 6.11 is the latest version of test in G, and for JUnit, it is the fourth version. For JUnit, there is a new version coming up that is called as 5 and it may be possible that that will be more advanced or more, not more advanced but that will be equivalent to TestNG because I have seen as an introduction that it is having functionality similar to TestNG. So now, then we won't be able to say that TestNG, oh sorry, JUnit is behind TestNG. But as of now, yes it is. In TestNG, if I talk about, we will be going through some annotations. These annotations helps us to make our test more reusable, easily maintainable. Okay. Um, if you uh, get stuck at any point of time, you can go to the documentation of TestNG and you will find each and everything clear and very easily defined. So TestNG uh, documentation is very good. So I would suggest whenever you get time, you can go through with it. But most of the 70% of the test engine functionality is what we are going to take a look okay? because they are very helpful when we talk about test engine we always talk about few annotation when we talk about annotation what annotation is can anyone tell me what annotation is let me create a package here so actually test engine uh, learning test engine is a very interesting thing We are creating a class and we are saying it as login test cases. We see here verify with valid credentials. Verify with invalid credentials. Verify. Um, suppose if you have any other test cases, well, let's, let me just think. If you can tell me one test case of login, one is with valid credential, one is with invalid credentials, you can expand it as much as you want. You, but. Um, Just verify it with with no credentials as well. Correct. <coughs> or we can say verify with the special characters. SQL injection. So there can be multiple methods. Correct. Guys, have you observed at any point of time? 
whenever you are working on Java, if you have written any programs or anything like that, have you observed there is one annotation comes up, there is one uh, line comes up that is at the rate, override, sometimes at the rate, uh, surprise warnings. Any one of you have have you ever seen this kind of statement? No one it seems. Okay. We also get deprecated Okay. So <coughs> Let me come back from that. So, whatever you write on top of your method with at the rate sign and anything post that, that will be considered as an annotation on top of a method or on top of a class anywhere. Okay, these are called as annotations, and it can be anything. I will say at the rate test. I so it's not what you will define. This is what you will say any name to it. No. These are the annotations which are being provided by test ng. And everything, whatever you will be going to define here, has some functionality attached to it. Has some functionality attached to it. So it's not that it is just for the name purpose it will be going to add up some functionalities okay that's the thing but okay that's fine so whenever i am talking about annotation i'm talking about few things which i am going to add on top of methods or on top of a class okay and they actually place an important role in your particular class or in your methods. Before I tell you about annotations, that what all annotations do we have in TestNG, let me tell you how you are going to download this TestNG. First of all, when I said JUnit, JUnit is a pre-installed. JUnit is pre-installed in Eclipse, but TestNG is not. If you have to download this, then just go to Help, Eclipse Marketplace, wait for it to load up. Right here. Test ng in the find. Okay, it is lag. Let it come. Okay. Here, test ng and search for it. So, to install it, you write, uh, you go to help Eclipse Marketplace and inside that you mention test ng. When you get the test ng, you will see here test ng for Eclipse. Just click on install. This is how install button will look like. Click on that and install testng and done. Testng will be installed in your system. Okay. Now let's talk about few annotations in testng. We are talking about annotations from quite a long time now. Let's write some annotations. At the rate before sweet. At the rate before test, add the rate before class, add the rate before method, add the rate test, add the rate after method, add the rate after class, add the rate after test, add the rate after suit at the rate before group at the rate after group at the rate data provider 
and 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 let me just think if I have at the rate parameter. Okay, so these are the annotations what we have in test ng. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.